Hey Sharks, I'm Justin Skolnick. And I'm Elfin Nistratenko. Today on WSRK, some of our Sharks go out for a man on the street. And a very bright and colorful news story. All this and more on WSRK Shark, Shark News. news. Hey Justin, since it's the holiday season, I'm curious, what holiday do you celebrate? I actually celebrate Hanukkah, and since it is the holiday season, one of our sharks went out to ask people from the community about what they celebrate and their unique holiday traditions. That sounds interesting. Do you have any holiday traditions? Does not getting any presents count? Let's take a look at that man on the street. I'm celebrating Christmas. I'm celebrating Christmas this year. This month I'm going to be celebrating Christmas. I will be celebrating Christmas as well as New Year's Eve. Because I was raised in the Christian faith. These holidays are important because it's kind of a time where I get to spend time with my family and my friends and all my loved ones. Because I spend time with my family, we always have a good time. It's a time to join along with family and spend time together and have fun. I observe um, Advent because it's something a part of the Christmas season for Christians. Uh, we usually do gift giving and we do something like Secret Santa sometimes so that we can all exchange gifts. And... One tradition that we do celebrate on Christmas is we open one present on Christmas Eve, just one. Uh, usually me and my family go to, Chris, uh, go to church and have a celebration and stay throughout the night. It's very enjoyable. Joyful. It's somewhat stressful, the holiday season, because I don't know what to get everyone and I might not have enough for just everyone, yeah. Uh, the holiday season is very festive as well as time giving in a certain way. I don't know if you've heard yet, but I actually have my own little segment here on WSRK. That's cool, what's it about? Well, since you asked, I sit at a table with my laptop that has absolutely nothing on it and people make me gross things while simultaneously laughing at me. Fun. It's better than it sounds, you'll see. What's up, sharks? Welcome back to another episode of Spicy Sweet and Random Eats with me, Prezi J. So, Halloween just finished, and Christmas is right around the corner. So naturally, we skip Thanksgiving and bring you our Christmas special. Um, as you can see here, uh, our studio is on a budget, so we were able to afford half a Christmas tree and 75% of a menorah. Bring it on. We have this uh, made good chocolate chip granola minis. Sounds great. Let's get this on. Oh. Oh, uh, looking. Wow, that's some. Um... You ever see owl poop? Let's go in for that uh, first bite. It was good, but there was like a weird chewy thing. Yeah. All right, we'll set that to the side. Move on to the next bite up. Just bring it. <laughs> Ice dog. 100% juice. Tell me. Freeze, squeeze, enjoy. Works for this, not for babies. It has a smell. And it's not a good smell. It's like, I know what smell it is. It's why they call it dog. <laughs> I don't want to. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> it shot up and hit the back of my throat. <laughs> Weird. It was like a spice almost or a sizzle. Next item, please. It's sort of cake, but it's not. Mini panatatone ni. Um, well, I guess uh, this just went to a food review show to an unboxing channel. Wait, I had to, yeah, okay. What? Hmm, all right. Wait, 
Can we just take a look here at what we get here and what the packaging is? It's like, oh wait, no, I see. It's the same thing. It's just that one looks like an actual cake. I don't, I don't know how to feel about this other than wrong. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what type of sound that is. L'chaim. Do, do any of you know anybody with a dry personality? Because this is what they taste like. It's something to wash it down real quick. Oh. Next item. I need something to wash that down. So, um, in this episode of Spicy Sweet and Random Eats, we teamed up with the um, art class. So Sammy ran up and got some uh, water used to get the paint off of the paint brushes, so. <laughs> I think this is a good time. She's already coming over, she knew. Elka, come on over and try this out. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Spicy, sweet, and random meat. You're, you're not actually drinking. Did you actually drink that? <laughs> it's definitely not a smoothie. Um. Bring on the um, half-eaten lunch. <laughs> Thanks, Antonio. So guys, next we have John coming on down. <laughs> Hello everybody, it's me, John. Please sit down. It's got a nice little aroma to it. It does, it, it has a good aroma. Just um... So this is a vegan sausage. That is a vegan sausage. I'm being told to mix things together. To that I say no you. <laughs> but I will be mixing multiple things together at this point. And then here we go, we have the fruitcake, the shortbread cookies, maybe? And the mad good. Here we have this. Get that. Get one of these mad goods. And then we will top it off with one of Oh, okay. Say one of or all of, because not all of them came off. The texture is so, it made like a nice spread kind of, but it wasn't so nice. It was, um, Anyone want this? I didn't think so. Okay, so <laughs> thank you for watching Spicy Sweet and Around the Meats. This has been our Christmas special. I would say join us next year, but I don't know if it'll survive the show. <laughs> thank you. Does that sound so terrible? <laughs> Thanks for watching. Now for a quick commercial break with a word from our sponsor. Hey! Wait, why are you eating cereal like that? Hey, first of all, I'm lactose intolerant, and second of all, it's a snack, not um, a cereal. Being lactose intolerant is no excuse to eat it like that. That's a disgrace. Says the girl who thinks it's a cereal. This is a cereal. No way, it's a snack. It's a cereal. A snack. A cereal. Nah, ah. Yeah, huh. Nah, ah. Yeah, huh. Nah, ah. Yeah, huh. I love these. Is it a snack? Or is it a cereal? Uh, guys, 
It's just tubes. Although we don't get any snow in Miami, many residents still get very festive for the holidays. In one neighborhood every year, people put up big bright lights for others to drive through and enjoy. And some of our sharks went to go check it out. At this street, families and homeowners are really coming together to get into the holiday spirit. From string lights to Santa's, Enchanted Lane is the definition of festive. And it's no wonder why it's such a popular attraction. Here in Enchanted Lane, cars and people fill the streets to see the beautiful light displays. Although the street looks picture perfect, it does take a lot of hard work and preparation to get the street all lit up in time for the holidays. Trying to get all the lights put up in time for the grand opening, which is usually the first, uh, first, first day in December. The entire street takes like three weeks. Uh, what we do, we, we get the benefit from the city. We get uh, a, a time allocation for the crane. We all, all of us learned already to use the crane and we just set up our own lights up in the trees. But despite the hardships, Enchanted Lane homeowners do this to help others give back. With organizations and if they are willing to donate a little, just up one dollar at a time, we've been able to pick between two and three thousand dollars every year and that money goes to nonprofit organizations who, for people in need. Homeowners believe that all the work they put into these displays are beyond worth it because of the people that show up. I guess there was uh, once uh, there was someone that was from New Jersey or someplace and um, they came by and they just kept coming by and says, I really haven't seen anything like this since I lived in New Jersey when I was a kid. Thank you for doing it. And, you know, just to see that people are so appreciative of, you know, of doing this. So it is a lot of work. Enjoy it. And because we enjoy putting it up and, they, you know, just it makes us feel good that other people are enjoying it. If you're looking for a great way to spend some time with your friends and family this holiday season, then come over to Enchanted Place in North Miami. For WSRK Shark News, I'm Rose Hoover. That's it for this week, Sharks. Make sure to check us out on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at WSRK Shark News. And stay updated with our website, WSRKSharkNews.org. I'm Elka Nistratenko. And I'm Justin Skolnick. And see you next time on WSRK Shark, Shark News. News. A universal thing, or not universal. We all know here. Shark news. Shark news. Shark news. Signing out.